Hello, my awesome and amazing Libras. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective love reading. This time around, you guys, um, I am doing audio recorded readings at this present time for the moment. Um, I have a lot on my plate. I'm trying to get my reading room slash office space pulled together before April 1st. And um, so definitely stick around. So whether you are driving in the car right now, maybe you're just sitting down, relaxing, whatever the case may be, We'll see what kind of energy wants to kick in for you, but eventually I will go back to uh, showing the cards. But what I have come to found as of last night when I started doing audio recorded readings again was that the videos, the audio recording was uploading a hell of a lot faster than when I do regular recorded reading showing the cards. It's like, it's kind of strange. I'm like, I don't know why it's doing this. Sometimes uh, when I'm uploading videos, it could take anywhere from, you know, 45 minutes. It could take an hour, two hours, three hours. And I don't know. I'm digging the energy though, as far as the videos uploading <laughs> faster, as far as the, you know, doing it audio style. So anyway, let's take a look at the overall general collective love energy. Let's see what's going on, no matter what it is that you're currently dealing with right now, my beautiful Libras. We will have a full moon in the sign of Libra come April 7th of 2023. So I do feel that between now and then your energies are going to be heightened. Um, I do feel <clears throat> new soulmate activity uh, circulating in and around you right now. I do feel that a lot of you Libras have been reflective of the past. Some of you Libras have gone through tumultuous relationships before, abusive relationships. You could have been ghosted, rejected, verbally abused, physically abused. A lot of heaviness I'm picking up on from the past. A lot of you are going through a healing process right now. Trying to find your way being on the path of least resistance when it comes to your romantic life. Some of you could currently already be involved with someone. Maybe they're in and out. There could be a friends with benefits situation that's going on right now that could be really irritating the hell out of you because you may not know how this person feels about you. There could be a potential suitor or a couple potential suitors they could be involved with third-party situations right now. You could be waiting for them to get out of those situations because you know that they're not healthy for them. So let's see what's going on. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Libra listeners, my Libra subscribers, and my uh, Leo. Um, why am I saying Leo? Are you dealing with the Leo? Libra? Is there a Leo? Ooh, I said Leo, didn't I? <gasps> oh boy. There could be a Leo that has their eye on you right now. Mm. All right, spirits. We'll see. I'll see if any Leo energy decides to kick into this reading. There's, there's three cards in tarot that can definitely bring in Leo if you're dealing with a Leo. Could be the chariot because there are Le uh, Leos that are born at the latter part of July. Leo energy mostly resides through the month of August, so strength card, and also the sun card. Mm. Definitely strong Leo energy. Interesting. Okay. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Libra viewers and my Libra subscribers to bring in the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Okay. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to power of number six. You can see the lover's card kick in before me. You could be dealing with a Gemini and or a Cancerian born in the month of June. 
I'm also picking up on the Six of Cups, something about blast from the past energy or somebody is being reminiscent of your energy or you yourself, Libra, could be thinking about the past. Power of number seven, the Chariot card may make its presence known. Also picking up on the Seven of Pentacles. Um, some of you Libras are dealing with Earth signs, Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. But again, you could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo born in the month of July. Power of number nine. Some of you Libras were born at the latter part of September. Could also be dealing with a Virgo born in September. But adding up the power of the numbers brings me to the number 22. Number 22 for the beautiful star sign, a Libra. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Trusted ancestors of my Libras, what is going on in the overall energy dynamics in regards to their romantic life? What does Libra need to know at this time frame, please? OMG, Six of Wands. Mm, six of Wands can represent a little bit of social media activity. Somebody could be watching you on a social media platform right now, Libra. But somebody wants to recognize you. You could be dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius more specifically. Something also, too, about you, Libra, rising to the top. getting out of some kind of adversity or somebody wants to zone in on you and give you some kind of recognition or level up the connection. The six of wands can also talk about good news coming in. There could be good news coming in over the next six days or possibly six weeks, which, um, Mm, could put you a little bit past that full moon in the sign of Libra I was talking about. I don't know, something about Easter or Astera season or something's coming into full swing or full bloom. Spring in your step. I'm hearing you're going to have a spring in your step when it comes to your romantic life. But somebody wants to reach out to you <clears throat> with good news. It's kind of like a hallelujah type of moment. Could be waiting for somebody to reach out and communicate with you. Whoops. Oh, boy. Some of these energies all over the place. The cards are starting to get discombobulated. I'm going to put the tarot deck down for a minute. I'm going to go directly into the Romance Angels deck. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yeah, Libra. I was about ready to say Leo again. I don't know about this Leo energy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's so funny. I had this happen. Oh my God. I think it was during a Scorpio reading I was doing in Gemini. Gemini was trying to creep out of my mouth. <laughs> I think I kept saying Gemini a few times over. Or it could have been, I don't know. It might've even been during a Capricorn reading or something like that. But Gemini, Gemini kept coming out. So, well, you know, maybe some of you Libras are dealing with another air sign that could very well be true. So an Aquarius or Gemini could be another Libra you're dealing with. But anyway, <laughs> getting to know each other. This tells me there is some form of a new soulmate connection, especially for those of you who are single. Okay. 
Wait for your romantic life to turn around, to get better, to become more stable, more grounded. Okay. I do feel that this person is going to be coming in with true, genuine interest. I feel like this is somebody who takes relationships very seriously and handles relationships with a lot of love and a lot of like tender loving care and my dog is starting to talk is there a new soulmate coming in for Libra Toto yeah what do you think is, is it time for Libra to shine is it time for Libra? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do they have to be patient? Okay. Well, I understand. I get you. Okay. All right. It's amazing how my dog picks up on energies. So somebody here, Libra, wants to get to know you on a deeper level. This is what I'm picking up on. Okay. And... Like I said, I feel like they take relationships very seriously and I feel like this person, they need that time. They need that time to like really be able to sit down with you, to be able to interact with you, be able to do things with you so that they, they can see how you move. Okay. So I'm going to go back into tarot. Five of Pentacles. Right now, Libra, you could be struggling a little bit with depression, feeling left out in the cold. You could feel ghosted, rejected. Maybe there uh, could have been a connection where things were kind of hot and heavy and then something could have fizzled out. But I feel like somebody here is coming back around the bend again. But I also do feel that this Five of Pentacles kind of being, you know, Maybe it's been some time. Maybe it's been over the last five months. You haven't maybe been feeling like your normal self. Okay. Um, you could just be going through a healing phase. Like I said, you might need this time because see, we can't manifest appropriately or fast when our emotions or our emotional vibrational frequency is not up to par. If you're feeling blah, you're going to get blah results. If you're feeling good about yourself, you're going to get good results. In fact, if not better. Okay. So right now there could be a lot of concern whether or not you feel you can open your heart chakra up. Now there's a couple other Zodiac signs that have been going through this as I've seen it in my readings. Okay. Hang on one second. Okay. Come on. All right. Go under the table, please. She wants a, um, she wants a T R E A T. And I've been trying to get my dog to lose a little bit of weight. So I've had to radically switch up her diet, reduce treats. She's only allowed certain treats now. Been having her on a, she's old. She's 13 years old and she does have a little touch of arthritis. So trying to make sure that the weight gets off of her hips and her joints. So... Like I said, you could feel like you're ghosted, rejected, but somebody does definitely want to get to know you that I feel, again, is going to put a spring in your step. Trusted ancestors, if Libra is feeling like this heaviness or any form of depression, anxiety, fear, trust issues, how do they, how do they quickly, radically shift this vibrational frequency? Okay. They're showing me the five of cups. Okay, somebody could also have guilt, remorse, regret, Libra, of how they treated you before in the past. But I'm asking spirit straight up, 
What do you need to do to radically change? Well, basically the imagery that I'm seeing in this card, the deck I'm using is the Light Seers Tarot deck. Very beautiful deck. And it shows a woman on a beach. Maybe some of you live near a beach or near, live near a body of water. And it's showing me like there's a, a hole in the sand. But it's, she's outside by herself in the dark with the stars up in the sky and these bowls of, which are considered cups, but they're a bowl. It's like a bowl of emotion. These emotions are going to have to get buried into the sand and just let it keep festering down into the sand until it's completely gone until these emotions come to terms with the fact like if you've been disappointed in love okay admit to yourself i'm disappointed i'm hurt i'm angry whatever it is okay but also come to terms in that moment that the longer you stay in that vibrational frequency the harder it's going to be to start thinking more positively. So yeah, some of you might need to take some baby steps, but as soon as you quickly determine and decide that you are not going to settle Libra for less than what you deserve, then you've got to, boom, you got to change it around fast. Fast is better. Okay. In regards to this, especially if you're trying to manifest because there's something about good news and a soulmate coming in your direction that wants to get to know you that could really shift your world, okay? So the moment you come to terms in your mind, they say, you know what? I don't have to take this energy. I know this is not my true self. I know I don't want to feel this way. No, I am going to take back my personal power and control, and I'm going to start affirming and commanding the energy to the universe that I am worthy of love, that I deserve love, and I'm going to be love, and I have love. And you keep confirming it, confirming it, confirming it. Now, a pattern that I've been seeing so far in the cards is a lot of red, orange, and yellow energy coming up in the cards. In the Six of Wands, there's like this peachy salmon pale orange color. So the sacral chakra, the sacral chakra may need to be a little bit more boosted. There could be, um, past sexual issues. Um, you know, maybe how you feel about your body right now. Okay. If you're not feeling the greatest about your body or how you feel you look or whatever the case may be. All right. Take the time. Work on yourself. Get your body to where it needs to be because when we are working out or focusing in on uh, healthy eating, high vibrational uh, frequency eating, eating the right foods, eliminating junk foods, those junk foods will create depression. Okay, and not only that, pack on the calories, pack on the pounds. Okay, so if you are battling emotionally with how you feel about your body, okay, then that needs to be taken care of first, okay? Work on it a little bit at a time. Rome wasn't built in a day. So looking good, feeling good, maybe you need to get a new hairstyle. Maybe you need to do your makeup differently. Maybe wear a new cologne, whatever it is. Treat yourself, okay, within reason. Do things, Libra, that can make you feel great, not just good, but great about yourself again, because that is going to boost those endorphins within you to start feeling better about yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. Tell yourself that you love yourself. I love you. There might have been past partners that falsified their love for you made you feel less than a woman or less than a man. 
You could have been dealing with a narcissist or a person who has narcissistic tendencies or a behavior. You could have been with a partner that held you back from pursuing goals or dreams, maybe because they were intimidated by you or intimidated by your success or intimidated by your creativity, that's not the right partner. That's not a real soulmate. No soulmate Libra is going to make you feel two inches high or an inch high or a fourth of an inch high. No. A real soulmate, a real partner is going to make you feel on top of the world because they, they love you unconditionally. And they're going to show you that emotional support. You're meant to be with somebody that the two of you can build this power couple energy. It's like a domino effect or a ripple effect. Okay. Where you feel like you can read that person's thoughts and they can read yours or they can feel their way through the energy. They can feel if something's off with you, want to talk to you, want to listen to what you have to say, you know, and vice versa. Something about roses. I don't know if somebody just received roses lately. I'm seeing red roses right now in my mind's eye or this person is going to give you roses it's like a romantic proposal or a gesture. So right now, what I'm seeing here is that somebody does want to get to know you. There's a soulmate energy or a healthier partner, a partner that is mentally stable, emotionally stable, financially stable, that wants to bring themselves, we'll say, to the table. But if your vibrational frequency, if your emotional stance and your mental headspace is not aligned, Libra, then you need to work on that. Get yourself grounded and command those phrases. I am worthy of a healthy partnership. I am the number one priority. I am always chosen. My partner and I are on the same page. My soulmate is now coming to me. My soulmate is going to make their presence known unto me. There's a self-esteem issue for some of you going on here with this five of pentacles. Feeling either burned out, left out in the cold, exhausted. Maybe feeling like you got a little bit of a cloud over your head right now. I do feel that once we get into Aries season, there's going to be, it's not just for the Libras, it's going to be for all of the Zodiac signs. The Aries energy, we're going to be able to think more clearly, have more wisdom and more discernment because Aries rules over the headspace. So any kind of mental fog that you've been going through, this is going to alleviate itself. But the actions that you need to take is, again, if you're going through self-esteem issues, confidence issues, you may also need to work on your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. Your throat chakra may also need work on as well because I also look for color themes color things in the cards that can indicate what is going on. You could have felt repressed in the past Libra about really truly speaking your truth. You felt like maybe you had to hold back certain phrases or certain things. Maybe you felt like you were walking on eggshells with a particular partner that you couldn't be maybe your true authentic self. Again, I have fire sign activity going on. I also have earth energy, water signs, 
again, Aries Leo Sag, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And that's not to say that the air signs are not there. They're there. So somebody <clears throat> wants to get to know you. So how would they make their presence known? How would they want to get to know you? Okay. In some scenarios, the release your ex card came up. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay. Part of this card goes back to what I just said. If you were with a partner, the, a liar, a cheater, narcissistic tendencies, anybody that didn't make you feel good, if there was any form of abuse, okay, working through that trauma, releasing any kind of trauma that has probably held you back, lowered your confidence issues, made you feel like you were less than who you are. So the time has come to clear this energy. Some of you have gone through divorce or you're going through divorce or a split, a breakup, a separation. And you could be wondering, is there going to be somebody else that is better for me? And the answer to this is yes. You know how many soulmates are out there, Libra? A lot. That are going to appreciate you for who you are. But what spirit is saying is you want this energy to come in fast. It's all about your mindset because remember swords, air element in tarot represent mental thought process and communication, command the energy to the universe. I am ready for a soulmate. I am ready to be loved unconditionally. You see where I'm going with that? The I am or the word now now is a commanding statement. Now comes to me now. The soulmate is coming to me now. So the sooner you cut your losses, bury these heavy, harsh emotions, lay them to rest, these traumas, and then work in on this confidence, the self esteem, the self confidence and self esteem because I'm seeing it through the six of wands could start to be more of a driving force. Like I said, over the next six days, it could take six weeks where your energy levels are going to boost up and it's going to end up drawing this person unto you. Now, another storyline. If you're dealing with somebody and there's a third party going on, they're about ready to release that soon-to-be ex-wife, soon-to-be ex-husband, soon-to-be ex-girlfriend, soon-to-be ex-boyfriend. How will this new soulmate for Libra make their presence known? How will they make their presence known? Could be a friend. It says, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. It could be a mutual friend. It could be a friend through a friend or friend of a family member. Friends could be through a social media platform. Something about a social circle of people. Some of you guys have done the online dating thing. You know, for some of you guys, it's work. Some of you guys nah, might have a little 50-50 with it. But I feel like this is somebody either you already know, Libra, or they're watching you from a distance, or they're going to make their presence known to you, or they're going to ask if they know somebody that you know, they may ask, hey, can you kind of tell me about so-and-so? I like to get to know him. I like to get to know her. It could be something as simple as that. But there's a releasement that has to happen here in order for this new wave of energy that's going to put you in the feel-good spot, Libra, to make you feel, boom, on top of the world again. Okay? So I'm rooting for you guys. Working on yourself. Work on your confidence levels right now. Because it's going to draw this person in and release little by little. Keep releasing the trauma. Release this 
ex that has been their energy, if they've been weighing you down, it served its purpose. The lessons have been learned and you're going to soar high. Okay. You're going to soar high again. You're going to be back in a new phase, a new level. It looks like again, around the next six days for some of you it could happen boom, real fast, or it might take another six weeks. It could take through the season of Aries to get this new wave of confidence built back up again so that you feel like you can put yourself out there and you feel even more confident, more self-assured. Okay. And confidence is attractive. Okay. So my beautiful, awesome Libras, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com. And my amazing assistant, Victoria will book you for that personal reading. Currently I have three spots available left for the month of March of 2023. And then we will go into booking for April of 2023. So I look forward to hearing from you Libras, but until next time, you guys stick around, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.